What is up guys and welcome back to a brand new video. Today we're going to have a little bit of fun. We're going to be doing Survive Baku. Um, if you're new to my channel then this uh, is a series I started about a year ago. Um, starting off with Monaco. Basically the aim is to take 20 people uh, from the random public, turn off all the assists and make the damage as uh, realistic as possible. So if even like a light touch will uh, pretty much send you out of the race. So the goal is really to get through the race and survive. Now, uh, one of my first videos, the Survive Baku one, is actually approaching 1 million views, which is, for an F1 channel, for my channel in particular, quite special. And so I thought to kind of celebrate that, we'll do version 2, this time in the rain, and uh, it should be a little bit of fun. So if you haven't seen the first video, I recommend you go check it out. You might well, You may well just send it over the line here. Uh, by clicking on that video and uh, yeah, thanks for 1 million views potentially when it does happen, but um, let's get stuck in 22 online noobs surviving Baku technically 18. Is he recording us or what? Oh No, no. I've got all this the voices is, coming like through. Is this is a problem. I can hear everyone in the lobby right now. I'm gonna take him out. I'm gonna take him out. Oh dear. I'm just gonna put... I'm gonna take him out. Oh, oh shit. Damn it. I think I think the voices are gone now. Thank goodness for that. Baku, uh, 22nd place, or 20th place, no assist, simulation damage, and finally, a room where I can actually hear myself think. Let's get this underway, if the game would like to cooperate with us. As you can see, light rain as well. It's only going to add it to the carnage. Um, guess in the comments how many people you think are going to finish this race. I can guarantee it'll be less than 10. I reckon four people. Four people will finish this Grand Prix. If we're lucky. Four, five red lights. I'm going to take this really cautiously. Why is there only 18 people in the lobby? I do not know. But away we go. The Azerbaijan Grand Prix. Survive Baku. Take two. Oh dear. Version two, shall I say. But uh, here we go into turn one. My brakes are really squeaky. That's something I don't hear normally because... Oh my goodness, I got front wing damage. It's fine. It's fine, we've survived turn one, we're down to 15 runners already. Live com as well, if you haven't been able to tell already. And there's just carnage everywhere. A Haas, or both the Haas drivers coming together, Kevin Magnussen and Roman Grosjean not having a, a fun time of things. That squeaky brake pedal. These, this, this set of pedals are only like three weeks old and they're squeaking like some rusty old door already. I don't know why, I don't know how, but that's, that's what's happening. Hello. I've never had that happen to me before! You're a prick, ballistic dog. You're getting kicked. I hope you're out of the race now, because that was not cool. 11 runners. I said we'd get less than 10. We haven't even got through the first sector yet, and we're all ma We're at the marker now. Holy crap. Yeah, what is it? Why? 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 You're trying to take me out. It's not gonna work, pal. I've, I've dealt with many an online noob before. Certainly won't be the last either. <laughs> that squeaky brake pedal is disgusting. Does uh, WD40 want to sponsor the channel? I think I really need it. But anyway, we're chilling. We're uh, P3 in the Grand Prix with no front wing, mind you. And uh, we're like literally absolutely under no threats from anyone behind. 2 minute 20 is the fastest lap. Now this is a really awkward situation. Do I put myself back in the pack and change the front wing? Yes, because I am a risk taker. And uh, well, if we can make some overtakes happen, then that'll be very, very exciting. 60 k's an hour, slow down for the marks, change the front wing. I have also put the rear repair wing damage to yes, which is something that I always forget to do in uh, league races, but that is certainly not the case today. Rejoining on the track, we have five runners left in this Grand Prix. My aggressive uh, prediction of four runners left, I think it's going to be worse than that. It's going to be much worse. The two leaders, I'm guessing, don't have any damage. Yet. No! Okay. I'm not going to survive Baku at this rate. Oh, for God's sake. You know, F1 2013 was great because you could do a flick spin. You can't flick spin the cars anymore in it. And it, it sucks. Look at this. I'm about to be last place. 
Two minute twelve from Expert Almond. He's absolutely setting the leaderboards alight here in his uh, Azerbaijan Grand Prix. I really... Oh no! I thought we were out there. I thought for sure we were out of the Grand Prix curtains for everyone. That would have been an absolute disaster. I really wish I didn't get damage on the first lap. I, if I could have put pressure on the lead too, it would have made for a really exciting prospect. One in which one or two of them probably would have bottled. But anyway, um, still down to me to not bottle this. I say that. What is with the locking up today? Alright, let's do the flick spin. Oh, gee. <gasps> Are you serious? It's been a long day without you, my friend. And I'll tell you all That is why this game sucks. You can't flick spin. And if you try to, you're dead. You are absolutely dead. We have three runners left in the Grand Prix. I couldn't even survive. I... Have I done this before? Has this happened? I'm not too sure. I don't want to think about it. That's just disgusting. I have let myself down in many ways. Almond is going to pit. Let's have a look at Hado. He's probably going to take the lead here if he stays out. Um, he has front wing damage, his right cascade is missing, but he will take the lead of the Grand Prix. This is actually going to be pretty interesting. Al Expert Almond is going to rejoin in P2 with no front wing damage, so he's going to be significantly faster. And uh, this is where the mental game comes into it as well, because Hado is just, realistically, all he's got to do is bring it home, um, and he'll win the race. Um, oh. That is not bringing it home, son. What are you doing? Expert Almond, he's going to overtake you for the lead of the Grand Prix. There he goes. Hado has bottled a prospective Grand Prix victory in the Survive Series of the Azerbaijan Grand Prix. Uh, like I said, if I was anywhere near close, I, I could have been right up there. Almond is going to bottle this. There goes most of his front wing. What are these guys doing? So, Almond has damage. Hado has damage, Alison Talisma is an AI car and is, is only 20 seconds back from the lead, so if there's any more bottles, then a, a non-controlled person is, is going to take out this race through the castle section, that is really sketchy. It, it's sketchy enough in career mode, uh, when you've not got any pressure under you, um, you're just cruising, let alone in conditions like this, where it is absolutely traumatising. You're just lucky to survive each time you go through the castle section. Watch this spot. This is always sketchy. With no front wing. He manages to, to survive. But man, this final lap here is going to be a real test. Is Almond going to pit again? No, he does not. Good boy. You do not want to throw away 20 seconds. Only to probably th lose your front wing again. Halfway around the lap. Hey, you know, How's he doing? Losing a lot of time. 7 seconds back. Don't know if he can challenge, unless there's a mistake from Almond. I think he's pretty much got this one in the bag. <gasps> no, he's not! He's in the barrier too! Almond's out! He's bottled it! Oh my goodness, and Hado! I put the commentator's curse on him, 100%. Let's discount Allison, who is in this race as well still. Hado is the last one standing. I don't know who this Allison person is, but she is disconnected, walked away, had dinner. I don't know what's going on. But Hado, you have half a lap. Half a lap to survive the Azerbaijan Grand Prix. Please do not fence it. You're the only one left. Bring this home. I cannot believe what I am witnessing, ladies and gentlemen. A Livecom survive episode. I think we've only done one of these before. Um, I think the last time we did Azerbaijan as well, the, the video I talked about at the start, we only had two survivors then. This this is worse. I I crashed out. So many other people have crashed out. And with half a lap to go, we realistically only have one person left. And the race still isn't over. If this doesn't deserve a like, then I don't know what does. Hado J, through everything, is going to come through and win the Azerbaijan Grand Prix. I really pray. I really, really pray that he survives the next three corners here and brings this home. 
to win in front of millions. Potentially a million, if this one hits a million as well. Through the final corner, that's, that's contact with the wall as well. Oh my goodness. I cannot believe someone who is guaranteed to win if he just finishes the race. I can't, I can't believe how hard he's pushing just to get home to the end. But he's weaving, he's celebrating, he's going to get home and win the Baku Grand Prix. You have survived. Well done. It's such an easy concept in, in theory, but when you try and put it into practice, it is not so simple to complete. But there you go, guys. That has been this video for today. Hado, um, awesome as well that he's Australian. He started P11, overtook 10 cars in five laps to win. That is, that is outstanding, son. Thank you very much for contesting in this Survive episode. If you guys want to see more of this in the future, let me know. Uh, leave a like, subscribe, all that good stuff. Let me know what track we should do next in the comments. I'm thinking about doing Survive Nürburgring, the Nordschleife edition, on Forza 7. So if that sounds good to you guys, let me know, and I will sort that out. Thank you so much for watching. Until the next one, I'll see you next time.